Well, who did all the work? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> so I went over and asked your parents for their permission. He was there to ask if he could marry me. So he so. knocked on the door, she opened it, and she said her face just dropped like, what is wrong? And it, she just stared at him like, are you going to tell me? She's like, is everything okay? And he was like, you should know why I'm here. And then she got all excited because then she finally realized nothing was wrong with me. He was there to ask if he could marry me. And my parents were involved. My grandma was involved. Some of our friends knew, some of them didn't. I was very careful with who I told and who I didn't. And then the next two weeks I spent sweating bullets that someone was going <laughs> to accidentally slip and tell her. I actually got hurt at soccer. I hurt my ankle. And he ended up going to pick up the ring so it worked out that I was hurt. And then he was like, okay, well I guess I'll go to the lake and picked up the ring and headed on down to the lake. So that was my way out. Way out of the house easily. <laughs> and then when we got to the proposal day, uh, obviously we're out on the lake all day with our friends and he has an aunt that lives there. And every single time we would drive past, I would always look and they were like, oh, we don't know if she's going to be down there this weekend. Well, she um, housed his parents and my parents. So they were trying to distract me every time we drove by their house so I wouldn't see anybody. Then we go to dinner and his uncle comes down and he goes, oh, hey, Cody, hey, Sarah, I forgot you guys were coming here this weekend. And then uh, his uncle says to Cody, uh, Cody, do you have any? Have you had any luck finding any boats yet? Because he really wants a boat. And I said, Chris, we're waiting on something. And I pointed at my finger, and he was like, he just kind of froze because he knew what was about to happen and didn't know what to say. He's like, Oh yeah. Well, anyways, you guys should come back to the house and say hey to Colleen. He's like, okay. So we get to Colleen's house, and uh, um, I wanted to connect to the Wi-Fi. And Cody had his phone and he was texting everybody what the plan was going to be, <laughs> trying to distract me. I'm like, Cody, can I see your phone so I can just easily connect to the Wi-Fi? And he just stared at me and he wouldn't hand his phone over to me. And I'm like, why can't I see your phone? And then everybody was just staring at me, so I felt embarrassed. I was so like, we hmm. talked a few more minutes and then when we got back to the house, everything was pitch black dark. Walked down into the basement and then there was this gold pathway. It was all lit up um, with candles on either side and then rose petals. What the heck? <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> big balloon arch and then uh, will you marry me and I was I was the shocked. Longest two weeks of my life. <laughs> <laughs> and so now we are engaged and we'll be getting married September 9th 2022 at Lake Lindsay. Hope to see everyone there we can't wait.